Hello, this is Five News. I'm James Partridge. A man has appeared in court charged with raping and sexually assaulting elderly people. 52-year-old Delroy Grant was arrested early yesterday morning. He's been charged with five counts of rape, six sexual assaults and 11 burglaries. Parents have been urged to supervise their children's internet access after research showed large numbers of primary pupils have been bullied online. A fifth of 10 and 11 year olds said they'd been bullied on the internet or via their mobile phones. Paul Brennan reports. Georgia Lester was the victim of online bullying when she was just 10. The Essex schoolgirl, who's still only 12, is now using her experience to mentor other victims. My advice, I'd definitely tell someone, um, your, uh, your mum and dad, your teacher in your school, just tell someone. Um, try to ignore it as much as possible. Um, if, you do ha if you are being bullied online, such as MSN and Facebook, um, block them or you can um, also report them as well. The bully targeted Georgia via MSN, but other social networking sites are also being used, despite the minimum age limit of many sites being 13. A survey of Year 6 pupils conducted to coincide with Anti-Bullying Week found 40% used social networking sites. More than 20% of them had been targeted by online bullies, and 22% of the children had no idea how to protect themselves from it. The industry is promising to tackle that issue. We've clearly had instances where people have used the chat system or used the wall to post offensive messages. Where that's happened, what we've been able to do is to give warnings to the users who put the bad content on there. And then if they persist, uh, we have a point system. They build up bad points just like on a driving license. And if they go too far, we'll take them off the site altogether. And the introduction of cyber mentors like Georgia is making a big difference to victims. It just helps them really talk and let their emotions out and it's, it's different um, talking to a side mentor than a teacher because um, being like them, being young yourself, um, they, they, they feel more comfortable and not as awkward as they would talking to a teacher. Is there a cyber Help is available, yeah. it's just a matter of asking for it. Paul Brennan, 5 News, Essex. Australia's Prime Minister has apologised to thousands of British children who were forcibly shipped there in the 1940s and 50s. The children had been promised a better life, but many suffered abuse and neglect. The first of six new RAF Merlin helicopters has arrived in Afghanistan to support troops in the country. The helicopters will be used to move troops and equipment around Helmand province. It follows criticism that a lack of suitable aircraft has endangered troops' lives by forcing them to travel over land. John and Edward have survived another weekend on the X Factor. The terrible twins made it through to the final six after Jamie Archer was voted off. And before going into the studio last night, Jedwood gave Five News an impromptu performance of the Queen song, Under Pressure. Pressure! Pushing down on me, pressing down on you, no man as for tch, tch, under pressure. That's it from me. We'd like your thoughts on this news bulletin. Whatever you think, email us, news at 5.tv. Natasha's back at 5 o'clock and live from Studio 5 is on at 6.25. Lisa has got the weather now. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.